Hi, my name is Evan Hotson. I'm a staff engineer out of Dewberry's Denver office, and today I'm going to talk about pre-stressed concrete cylinder pipe, also known as PCCP. PCCP is unique in that it is a composite pipe material, utilizing the tensile properties of steel and the compressive properties of concrete. PCCP consists of a thick concrete core, which typically has a very thin steel cylinder either embedded in it or outside of it, to provide a watertight membrane. Very thin steel wires are continuously wrapped around the concrete core at extremely high tension, upwards of 200,000 PSI. This allows the pipe to be able to withstand very high internal pressures as well as external loads from soil, above ground structures, and live loads. Cement mortar is then applied to the exterior, coating the pre-stressing wires, and interior to provide a passivating alkaline environment for the steel cylinder and pre-stressing wires to protect against corrosion. The largest concern with PCCP is its failure mechanism. In the late 1970s, numerous catastrophic failures of PCCP led to investigation of pipe materials and why these failures were occurring. When numerous localized pre-stressing wire breaks occur, the adjacent pre-stressing wires can no longer carry the tension, which leads to a progressive failure of the pipe system. When the tensioned wires eventually fail, the concrete core becomes decompressed and the pipe fails in a catastrophic nature, often self-excavating a hole and rapidly flooding adjacent areas. Today, technologies exist that can help determine the condition of the pre-stressing wires in existing PCCP systems. Electromagnetic inspection involves running a device through the existing pipeline that counts approximate number of wire breaks in each pipe segment by detecting discontinuities in the wires. This gives utility owners a baseline for the condition of their existing system. Another technology is acoustic fiber optic, or AFO, which is a cable that can be installed inside of the pipeline and remains in place during service, which listens for wire breaks and notifies the utility owner in real time as breaks occur. Together, these two technologies can help prioritize replacement and rehabilitation in larger PCCP systems. Some options typically used for rehabilitation of PCCP include full replacement, typically with a different material like steel that removes the catastrophic failure potential, slip lining, which slightly reduces hydraulic capacity but is great for urbanized or otherwise difficult to excavate areas and eliminates the risk of catastrophic failure by isolating the host pipe from internal pressure, external tendon repair, which is typically utilized for shorter reaches or individual pipe sticks due to high cost, and keeps the concrete core compressed if the pre-stressing wires fail and can be installed while the pipeline is in service, and internal carbon fiber repair, which is also typically used for shorter reaches or individual pipe sticks due to cost and eliminates the risk of catastrophic failure, but requires isolating and draining the affected pipe segments for installation. Selection of rehabilitation methods should be made for each project based on condition of existing PCCP, length of pipeline requiring rehabilitation, land use in the pipeline corridor, and any time and cost constraints.